good afternoon, fellow cannabis enthusiasts. It's Cory with Cory Cooks Cannabis. How y'all today? If you're not feeling zen, pick up your pen. Mmm. Always good. Yes, very good. How are you all today? This week has gone by really fast for me. Um, I talked to somebody uh, recently and their despise for oatmeal raisin cookies was very intense. So I'm being cheeky and I'm going to make cannabis infused oatmeal cookies. So what I've started with is um, the tincture that we have made um, in previous episodes. I'll have a link for you up in the corner here and you can take a look at it. So the last of our tincture, which was about just shy of a quarter of a cup, yeah, just shy, maybe an eighth of a cup left of the tincture. So I soaked the raisins for about three hours now. And as I was soaking them, I was slowly steaming um, the alcohol off. So they smell great. Can't taste the cannabis. A little bit of the alcohol, hopefully that will cook off some more. But that's great yeah that's really tasty so the ingredients we are going to use today is we are going to use a half a cup of molasses we're going to use one and a quarter cup of sugar one and a quarter cup don't want to mess this up teaspoon of sugar or salt pardon me cinnamon shortening baking soda, two eggs at room temperature, and our shortening, I've already measured out into here, so it's had a chance to soften. My shortening was in the fridge for a while. The flour as well, I have already measured out. Um, I did that because I wanted to put a quarter cup of uh, flour in it, and I unfortunately didn't have enough uh, measuring cups to do it. So I already pre-measured this out. So to start, we're going to cream our sugar into the shortening. Here's our quarter of a cup of can of sugar. Or pardon me, a third of a cup of can of sugar. And this is our cup of sugar. So it's a cup and a quarter, but uh, short of measuring cups. This is three quarters and a third of a cup of sugar equals uh, one and a quarter cup. We'll just put that in there and we'll slowly cream this together. This recipe was in a recipe box I found of uh, my grandmother's years ago and they call it a World War II um, recipe. And I think a lot of that is because it's nicely creamed together. Let's ask, add our molasses. Normally I spray out my cup for the molasses. I forgot and that's a good tip. If you're going to use molasses because it's so sticky or uh, so that's a good lesson. Um, just give it a little pound spray out and it makes it easier. It just comes out really nice. But I forgot. Okay, got that. All nice. All right, we'll scrape down the sides here and give it another good mix. Make sure all our ingredients are nicely creamed in there. And they are, it's nice. I like molasses, oatmeal raisin cookies. I find they're super chewy. Um, I don't know, they've got a different sort of sweetness to them. And I don't know, I just love them. It's actually my favorite kind of cookie. 
So, to all those who hate oatmeal raisin cookies, there is a whole batch of us that love oatmeal raisin cookies. You can also do this with chocolate chips, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. So let's add this in nicely, the flour. We'll do it slowly. We'll add her cinnamon. notice every week that I always boo-boo and I somehow manage to recover every time. <laughs> I think that's the fun part about cooking. At least for me. Salt always away from your dish. Because accidents like that could happen. All right, let's mix this in. Delicious looking raisin. these delicious raisins. It's um, one and a half cups of raisins. I believe I have that. A little shy. I thought I measured it out well enough. Now let's just mix this all nicely together. looks delicious. Okay, so now that we got this all nicely blended, let's go ahead and just pop it on. This recipe should make five dozen. I don't need five dozen, so I'm going to, uh, Freeze the rest. I'm just going to do a couple of cookies for today. And I also want to say Happy Thanksgiving to all the Canadians that are celebrating Thanksgiving. And your Can Thanksgiving traditions. All right. I think that's enough cookies for today. And I'm gonna freeze the rest. So I have batter for another day or to give somebody. We'll be back in 10 minutes and we'll take a look at these delicious cookies when they're done and maybe have a taste. All right guys, until we come back in 10, 15 minutes, stay zen, bye. Hi guys, we're back. And the cookies look delicious. But before, we're not feeling zen. Always good. All right, I'm just popping them off. Delicious. 
delicious. Nothing better than a nice warm cookie. Cheers, everybody. All right, until the next time, my friends, please always stay zen. Thank you. Bye.